Let's jump right into the 1-1, one, one, which is pretty much synonymous to Saquon Barkley. I think in any format that you're going with, I think that's your that's going to be your consensus 1-1 one, one right now. We're talking about rookie running back specifically. Um, but Saquon is, there's, I mean, people are giving up their entire team to just have a chance at rostering this guy, which I would like to uh, quickly throw a thing in there. He's from Whitehall, Pennsylvania. <laughs> My high school used to play Saquon Barkley. Yeah. The old Zephyrs. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I love that. Should dig up some stats. I'm, I'm all in. Well, he's originally from New York. Moved to, uh, That's a bummer. Moved to Whitehall, Pennsylvania, which I'm from Easton, Pennsylvania. Same conference. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was, Whitehall has their ups and downs. They're usually down, but when Saquon was there. He was probably up. Whew, way up. <laughs> Still only a four-star recruit. Idiots. <laughs> Parents are probably idiots. <laughs> of the recruiters, not Saquon. Right. Right. <laughs> Good family. Actually, I don't know that. but So some people really want to argue that the real 1-1 one, one is Darius Geis. So I'm so glad I have the 1-2 because yeah. the what the real 1-1 one, one is, is at the 1-2. It's Darius Geis. Yeah. What do you guys think about that? I mean, I like Darius Geis as much as the next guy, but you can't be getting cute here. Like Saquon Barkley could easily be a top 10 dynasty startup pick next year and i mean he just the notes i have about his about watching his tape is like whoa geez what did i just see jumping like, jehoshaphat's batman <laughs> it's just crazy the like i mean we don't have to break him down but i mean it's just he caught 54 balls last year on top of all the amazing feats at, at running back well so i mean sometimes the, he presses a little too hard and he tries too much and mm, just stop it he's the one one yeah it's consensus there's no reason to get cute and do anything else it's the one one i don't feel like we need to spend a ton of time in here debating this or talking about or giving a breakdown on saquon i know we haven't done so for saquon or really the top four but yeah i mean i do have like this terrible gut-wrenching feeling that he might he might he's probably gonna be a brown when it's all said and done they do have two picks in the top four so i could well, definitely just see plummet him right out of the top 10 i mean I, I don't think it really changed anything for me like i'm still gonna take him one overall well the people who say that you shouldn't draft running backs in in the first round or whatever are, are gonna lose their shit but that's fine with me you guys keep losing your shit i'll i'll keep taking a gu- like Nobody knows what's going to happen in the first round. There's a million busts every year. If a guy looks like he could possibly be a generational talent, why not take a stab on him? And if he could be your cornerstone running back for the next six, seven, ten years, then Absolutely. what are you really losing here? Well, you, some people are saying he's the best running back they've seen since Adrian Peterson. I mean, my, my thing about Saquon is the kick returns. I mean, to do 225, 230 pounds, wherever you see him listed – to do the things that he's doing as a running back and catching the ball out of the backfield and all that stuff. I mean, that's, that's like, it's, it's one, one stuff, but then you give the 230 pound man a kickoff return and he goes a yeah. hundred yards with it several times in the season. That's that. I, I just think that against big opponents when right. you couldn't really get much else rolling exactly. and they still decided to kick it to him and that, he's still doing his thing. Is that, it? that's, that's just, that's it's different. It's, it's crazy different. that a dude this big can move the way he does. It's insane. That's he's what just, I'm saying. It's man. amazing. And he is a great kid. Um, he, he wants to buy his mom a house. He's got a good family. Like you were saying, you weren't sure. I looked a little bit into that. He's just ready to buy his mom a house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Love all that these, sentiment. Love that sure. sentiment out of him. It, for, for everything that, that we all think we know about Saquon, he is a good kid, and he's got his head on right. And he's probably, they every pre-draft and every – uh, ranking system I saw all through college this year. He was kind of the number one prospect, even atop the quarterbacks and stuff like that. So, I don't, I don't think that, I don't think you can go wrong taking Sa- Saquon one one in any format. And I think what Jay Wade said, he could be a number one pick next year. I think the sparkle on him and just the name value that he's basically the cachet, the cachet he's developed in the last two years at Penn State. I believe that if in some startup drafts he'll go in that he'll go in that late first round of a startup without playing a game. I, um, you know, Zeke Elliott did it, Todd Gurley did it, and the the Leonard Fournette was probably pretty close, right? And he was, and the 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 last couple of years between Leonard Fournette and and well, last year's running back spoiled us. They were all good, right? But the the Ezekiel Elliott class and the Todd Gurley class, those two cats changed people's teams picking at the front end of the rookie draft. Sure. And I've Saquon is you, uh, you got to take a stab. Like you said, don't get cute. 
Geis has his own good measures, but Barkley is Barkley, and you got I think you got to grab him, and I, I think you'd be silly not to. This dude, I, power cleans four hundred five pounds. <laughs> right, ridiculous. and he returns kickoffs. <laughs> like, we're, we're all in the and he squats a, a ridiculous amount, like six hundred fifty yeah. pounds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which I mean, obviously it's not the be all end all, but no, but he can wow. pick up a but, bus. But you know, not like, only not <laughs> only does he do all that, is is that that equates to being absolutely ridiculous on the field, and he's got the three phases of the game that everybody wants. Um, and all that kind of stuff. So I don't think we need to spend too much time here on Saquon. Great guy. Take he's hurdled take every him. player in FBS <laughs> right. that he's right. played. Take, your, take him as the 1-1 one, one and, yeah. and be super stoked that even if you had the shittiest team for the last two years that your franchise just got turned around. And you could just have somebody fun to pull for. Right. And, yeah. Well, we've seen what these elite running backs can do. They pretty much score 100 more points than anybody else in fantasy, which Saquon has just as good a chance as any of these backs to do so. Yeah. So. Unless he's a Brown, but whatever. Even if he is a Brown, man, that's a good offensive line. They, they'll say they got Kirk Cousins. They got a ton of cap room. Could. <clears throat> got this, some wide receiver weapons. It's got to turn around at Trent, some point. Trent Richardson did the, the, the first act of Trent Richardson as sure. a Brown. He, sure. he took over the dynasty community as and a Brown. And Crowell and Duke were both startable this year, so it wouldn't be the Shit, worst. Duke's like be, a low-end RB1. Duke yeah. was like the RB9 16th in PPR. Or something. No, he was, he was top 12. He was, yeah. he was an RB1. He might have been RB9. Yeah. Full point PPR. That's what Obviously. we're usually talking about well, here. Well, if you're not, give it the times. I know. 